Are you thirsty? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome. Today I'm here with my best friend Katie. Hi. <laughs> and we are going to be watching and reacting to the first two episodes of Heartstopper on Netflix. I am so excited. Actually, let me go grab something. I will be right back. While she's doing that, I wanna let you all know that today's video is being brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to help you grow your brand or your business or connect with your audience. You can create your own website or sell your products. So thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and I will get more into them later on in the video. Oh, did you get Heartstopper? I did. Once I know it's at the bottom of this stack. Okay. You, could you just hold this for a second? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. One sec. Yeah. It's here. Just... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, this is a lot of books. Yeah, I'm so sorry. It, it might be at the bottom, honestly. That's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, we're almost there. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. There it is. We got him. Now we're all ready. Let's watch Heartstopper. Let's watch Heartstopper. <laughs> Heartstopper was just released on Netflix last night. Katie and I have been hanging out all week, so we thought it was the perfect time to watch it together and react to it. Several of you have been asking me to film my reaction to it and asking me if I'm gonna watch it, and of course I'm going to watch it because it's one of my favorite series of all time now. I read this like a month or two ago for the first time and fell in love. Katie just read them last night. Yes, all incredible, keeps getting better, more than five stars, just the cutest, sweetest thing I've ever read. I love it so the much. Page. It's the best. We are gonna react to the first two episodes today. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. It better be good. I have faith that it's going to be very good. <gasps> I think so too. If not, you I know. will. I will be very upset. And I'm so excited to see Nick and Charlie come to life and all the other characters. Oh my god. Okay, let's start episode one. <laughs> I'm so excited. Me too. Oh, I love the like little comic design that they've integrated. Yeah, it's so cute. Gay panic! <laughs> and you bitch. Nick. Nick. Oh, he's perfect. Oh, the doodles! Hi. Hi. Oh my god, stop! stop. <laughs> oh, it's so good, it's so good, it's so, it's so good. good. It's so good. Sorry about earlier. Why did I forget the head accents for a second? Really, yeah. <laughs> the way he stands is literally perfect. Truly. He literally is exactly Charlie. Hi. 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 Hi, hi is the new okay, okay. <laughs> if you're stuck, I can just stop. let me just get off. How dare you? Stop. <laughs> Better? Hi. Why are you talking to me? I don't even know who you are. Jesus Christ. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. I'll drink again. God, they're all perfect. They really are. The one that looks like a golden retriever. He doesn't look like a golden retriever. He doesn't look like a golden retriever. That, yeah. is, that is accurate. But like... Nick. It's <laughs> <laughs> a whole mood. I love them. I love them so much. I actually really like the way they incorporated texting into this so yes. far. I feel like we're gonna get more of the side characters in this. Which makes me really happy. Like, this is more L than I feel like we got in the first Definitely. volume. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Break up with him? I would have said break up with him, but that's me. <laughs> Alright, hey, bitch. Send it, send it, send it. Break up with him. Stop. We can't start this now. <laughs> They've already set it up. Oh my god. Break up with my boyfriend. Was he a knob? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just someone I can have a laugh with, and he's nice and kind and likes being with me. That's what you deserve, Charlie. Um, yeah, of course he is. He's gay. He knows how to run for his life. <laughs> it's not a crush. I don't just fall for any guy who's nice to me. <laughs> you? That's literally me. I am Tao, that's why I love him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where is your can-do attitude? Oh, she left. Long ago. We love that she left. The dialogue is so good. <laughs> it's so good. It was written by Oh a my god, person. it was. This is also really well acted so far. Yes. They are so cute. Oh my god, we're, it's this scene. Follow him, Nick. Follow him. Then why are you angry at me? I'm angry because you never even slightly cared about my feelings. We will never meet up when you want to, where you want to, when you feel like kissing a boy. <laughs> He told you to stop. Go on. Piss off. Sorry. 
You have nothing to be sorry about. Sorry. You say sorry a lot. Don't say it. Shut up. That was so good. They did so well. Oh it's my god. Perfect. I think it was even better in this than it was in the graphic novel. Good practice, Nikki. Olivia Coleman? Yeah. Olivia Coleman is his mom? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. X. Oh my god, that was so that was good. So oh, it was everything I could have ever wanted. It was perfection. It was spot on. It was so wholesome. The illustrations, the use of the little colorful leaves. It's perfect. It has exactly the vibe that the graphic novel has. It fits it so well. The color grading is perfect. Perfection. Pastels. Yes. The use of the illustration with the leaves coming through. And then they actually use yes. real leaves too. Yes. The like handwriting, which looks exactly like the handwriting in the graphic novel. The texting is brilliant. The texting is so good. But the acting is so good. So good. I love them all. I'm oh going to follow them for the rest of their lives. Yeah. <laughs> my biggest concern was that it was going to be like a little bit cringy. Do you know what I mean? And it's not. Sometimes when they make stuff like this, especially when it's like a pilot season a lot of the time, it can be like a little bit cringy or like a little bit too on the nose. But that's one of my yeah. favorite things about Heartstopper. Like even though it talks about like social issues and like mental health and stuff like that, it's never like trying too hard. It's just like a part of their lives. Like it's just this yeah. is how they exist. A lot of the time when they translate books over into like movies and stuff or TV shows, they miss like the subtlety of like that a, a book yes. can have and sometimes they just like yeah. point things out too directly yes. and this doesn't do that it's perfect it's so good it's so well balanced it really is uh, oh it's so happy i would have died to have this as a kid yes me too oh my god could you imagine I, watching this when we were like in high school or I middle know. school i wish i had been forced to read this just as like a freshman in high school i yeah. feel like every freshman in high school should read yeah this. i agree i would have given anything to be able to watch this in high school it's like almost just as good honestly so Which far yeah is it's rare. really hard to do that it is yeah. so rare yeah <laughs> Episode two. Episode two. Quickly, before we get into the second episode, I want to once again thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Like I mentioned, Squarespace is a platform to create a website, grow your business, and engage with your audience online. They have so many different features that you can use, and one of my favorites is definitely their blogging tools. If you'd like to create something like a newsletter, their blogging tools are perfect for that because you can share photos, videos, and all kinds of content updates, as well as schedule all of your posts, so it's super easy and accessible to use. They also have a feature that lets you create email campaigns, uh, which is is perfect to use if you're trying to start up a newsletter because it's completely customizable to your brand or your business. You're also able to connect all of your social media accounts to your website so that they can all be found in one place and it's super easy to access for your audience. So if you're interested in trying out Squarespace for yourself, go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And once you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash a clockwork reader to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I'll leave that link and code in the description box, so be sure to check them out there. And again, thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and without any further ado, Let's get into episode two. <laughs> Stop. Yungi? <laughs> <laughs> the style of this oh, is incredible. so good. I love the way they've incorporated the illustrations into the show. So well done. I love their rooms so much in the, the mm -hmm. graphic novel and they look so good so far. They're literally using the exact text from the graphic novel. Yeah. Because when it's perfect, why would you change it? That's what I always get so frustrated with, with adaptations. And like, this is so faithful to the book because there's no reason to change it. I'm obsessed with the soundtrack already. So much. You're going to be listening to this for like a while. I know. This is my new personality <laughs> slash it already was my personality. But like... I remember that text. I remember yes. that text very specifically. Word for word. I guess so. They cast Ben so well. He really mm -hmm. just looks like an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being my supportive straight friend. Send the heart. Send the heart. Yes! <laughs> Look at his little smile. He's like, he's like almost teary-eyed. His eyes are like yeah. kind of watery. Mm -hmm. They're like glassed over. Oh my god. See, he's like smiling. He's like, should I even be smiling? The, the rainbow! rainbow. <laughs> I love that we're getting more L. Me too. I'm oh so my happy. God. <laughs> Thank you for including Girl in Red. It would be a crime to not. It would. He's straight Charlie. Like, you only need to glance him to see that he's a massive heterosexual. <laughs> God, you are so him. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm a little bit Charlie, and you're just like, you're like, bitch, please. <laughs> I thought you had a boyfriend. 
No, no, he was horrible. This is someone else. <laughs> wow, well, being a teenager is terrible. Yeah, yeah, it is. We eat in the canteen, so you can join us anytime. Look at her making friends. I wish I had a dog. My parents don't like animals. You should come around my house and meet her. He's so excited. We would love him using his dog as an excuse to invite the boy he likes over. Mm -hmm. Love that. Little shake. You got a haircut. Um, is it, is it bad? <laughs> you are, you're a proper little nerd. If anybody calls you a nerd, they're flirting, and it's a compliment. It's snowing. Is this a K-drama? It's snowing. It is, it's giving K-drama energy, and I love, I love it. Yes, wear his hoodie. This is what every adaptation should be like. Mm -hmm. This is just what everything should be like. Yeah. <laughs> If somebody takes a picture of you, it's flirting. I think every person needs a nick in their lives. He's just too good. Uh, he's in my form. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what a form is. Me either. As your token straight friend, it's my duty to remind you that sometimes people are straight. I love that line from the, the graphic novel. That's perfect. I'm so glad they put it in. Thank you. I make no he's promises. So he's so cute. He is literally adorable. There we go. <laughs> no. I love his group of friends. Oh my god. You're officially part of the inner circle. <laughs> oh, so oh, so cute. cute. You've befriended the school lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> We love befriending the school lesbians. Oh my god. I'm sorry, but we're. Oh, look at us holding hands. Oh, he is flustered. I'm like blushing. His bisexual panic. Look at his face. That golden retriever face. This is me with you when I come when we watch anything. I fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. Every time. Just straight knockout. Yeah. Give me my pride and prejudice hand moment. Yes. You look so cuddly like that. If someone calls you cuddly, flirting. <laughs> oh my god. He's like holding on to him so tight. Oh my he god. Long. <clears throat> okay, see you Monday. A little throat clearing. <clears throat> that was the epitome of gay panic, if I've ever seen one. I don't think he's straight. You'd be right, girl. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this song. Stop it, are you serious? Literally every song, Katie's like, I love this song. I like, love this, this song. This is by Orla Gartland. She's by, and I love her, and I'm obsessed with her, and oh this song is god. one of her best songs. It is. It is the song. I love this song. <laughs> She's one of my favorite artists, and like definitely one of my favorite bisexual artists, if not my favorite. I'm gonna cry just from the playing this song. <laughs> I love this song so much. I swear to god, it's like they took your playlist and just made this. <laughs> it's in my K playlist. <laughs> I'm tearing up just from this song. Not the staring at the zoomed up. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> the hope, the hope returning to his eyes. <laughs> this is, this is when he so Googles, happy right now. This is when he Googles. Oh my yeah. god. better no it couldn't there's not a single is, thing wrong and it couldn't be better it is so faithful to the graphic novels yeah. it adds in more than the graphic novels even have in like the best way possible like we get Truly. more detail about the other characters the fact that we get so much from Elle's perspective at yeah. um, and just first girls girl. in general yeah and the girls in general because before they would that. just like come in we met them through Nick and Charlie yeah um, but now we get to like actually just meet them and oh my god oh my god it's so good. It's the so build good. up of like every scene, the way that it's filmed, the cinematography is yes. so good. The editing of everything has been perfect. The way that oh. they ended each episode has been perfect. The ending of this one was amazing. The yes. end of this episode was amazing. The illustration, great. Like that dramatic moment in the beginning of this, that was so, so good. That oh was incredible. God. It truly makes you feel something. When he went for the handhold and they did the little fireworks this illustration, I felt that. I felt so that cute. physically. Yeah. <laughs> Spiritually, <laughs> psychologically, financially. Religiously, metaphorically, metaphorically. hypothetically, yes. <laughs> literally. Theoretically. Theoretically. Mm -hmm. Bisexually. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. <laughs> In my head, I was like, gaily? No. Lesbianally? No. Bisexually. Bisexually. <laughs> I felt that 
bisexual. I felt that asexually. <laughs> I literally want to cry. Like, it was so cute. Uh, yeah. A tear did escape at the end. Oh, my God. And it was God. from happiness. Yeah. I am just so happy. I feel loved by this TV show. I do, too. I this love it, like and it loves me. This is, gay joy. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's, like, what it is. Yeah, it, like, loves you. And yeah. that's how it feels when you read, like, the graphic novel. Like, it's so heartwarming. Like, I've never read anything that makes me feel happier. It is a religious experience. When it people is. are like, Jesus loves me, and I know that. Heartstopper <laughs> loves me. I know, I know that. I know it in my I soul. Have faith. <laughs> it's like better than I even expected. Like I expected Same. it to be good. Yeah. I didn't expect to really be disappointed, but like it's even better than I thought it would be. Like yeah. you, you truly can't do you, anything else. Yeah, it can't be improved. No. It's just great. And they use so much of the exact dialogue yeah. and everything from the books. Like, yeah. Also, just, some of the same frames, like the way certain yeah. scenes are shot, like the scenes of Charlie texting Nick when yeah. he's like sitting against his bed. Mm -hmm. Like those are like straight out of the graphic novel. And Nick was in his bed with the dog lying on him, just yeah, like it was. Yeah, it's so good. Oh my god. I don't know how they cast them so well. Oh. Everyone looks exactly how they're supposed to look. Yeah. And they have the energy of the characters. Like, Charlie especially. Like, yeah. I don't even know who my favorite is, but Charlie, like, yeah. the actor who plays him, I don't know his name. Fantastic. He is Charlie. Yeah. He stands like Charlie. He always has, like, feet sticking out. <laughs> and he's just, like, so tall and, like, awkward in the cutest way. Yes. And he just is Charlie. Uh, and Nick too has the biggest golden retriever energy. Mm -hmm. The he's actor's so perfect. so soft and sweet and like genuinely caring. Yes. You can see his little like glances of concern. Yes. That are so sweet. The way that they show emotion in their face Oh my god. It's so genuine and subtle, but easy to read. Yeah. I love Tao. I love yes. Elle. Yes. I love Tara. I love everybody. Darcy is really great. Too. Darcy That's is exactly amazing. How yes. I her. Yes. I literally have no criticisms of it. No, none. None it's at all. It's just so happy. This is like the best show I've seen this year. No, we did we watch Yona this year. We watched Yona this year. Okay. This is equal to the best show. This is I've the seen best live this action show I have seen this year. Yes. It is the best live action show. Actually, I've yes. seen in a long time. Yeah. 20 out of 10. Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely recommend. Should be required watching yes. for all high schoolers everywhere. Yes. I'm so happy for Alice Oseman. This is what the series deserved. This is definitely one of my favorite book-to-movie adaptations I've ever yes. seen. Yes, absolutely. It's just so well done. I just will never get over the fact that as kids in middle school and high school, we had Kurt Hummel and everyone else now gets Nick and Charlie. And I'm so happy for the youth. Mm -hmm. I am so happy for the I'm youth. I'm happy for them and I'm like concerned for us. I'm deeply concerned for us, but like it's past our time, mm -hmm. you know, like what's done it now and it's, it's yeah, we'll heal through this. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, yeah. Anyway, okay, I don't really have much else to say about it. I feel like we've said everything yes. there is to say. Go watch it. Go watch Heartstopper. Go read it if you haven't read it. Please Just do read both. It. Yes, read it, watch it. Honestly, in any order, because they're yes. basically exactly the same. You'll be a better person for it. You'll feel better. Yeah, you will feel better. It literally just makes you feel so good. We're going to go watch the rest of it and also listen to the soundtrack. <laughs> we'll basically just listen to Katie's Spotify. <laughs> we'll go straight to the game playlist. That already there. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all enjoyed our reaction to Heartstopper episodes one and two. This was so much fun to do, and I'm so excited to watch the rest of it. I know I'm going to love it. If you would like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. Thank you to Katie for being here with me and being my best friend to react to things with. And <laughs> we, had to watch with. It we did have to watch it together. It was necessary. And thank you all again so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.